1926, James McKinsey, a professor at the University of Chicago, founded McKinsey & Company to help the CEOs of the world make distinctive, lasting, and substantial improvements in their performance. Today, 99 years later, they charge five to $50,000 a day for their services. Now, don't get me wrong. AI Engine will never replace the human touch and the digestible communication the consultants bring to the table that the tired CEO at 7 p.m. on a Friday eve can actually digest. Communication will never be the same, and that's a really big part of what McKinsey consultants bring to the table. But agents will do almost everything else, and that everything else can cost companies today millions of dollars. When I say everything else, I'm not talking just about basic SWOT analysis. Softwares exist to do that. I'm talking about the deep market insights, competitive intelligence, strategic recommendations, and putting everything together, the style and the format that management consultants use. All right, before we going deep into the code, I'm gonna give you the high level architecture and then we're gonna deep dive. So here's our agent. It's got the CLI interface, I might be adding API later on. If that's interesting, consider subscribing. But for now, we've got a CLI that is poking our agent. Obviously, it's an LLM in the center of it that is calling the agent's tools and is managing the agent's memory. And the tools, we can mix and match, we can change, we can we can write those Python functions to have and be different tools. And we've got the classic ones you would expect from your analyst to have. Obviously, we're spitting out um the now the the recommendations the analysis and what i've made here which is pretty cool is that we're going to have real data accessing the internet the knowledge of the world but we can also run on mock data on debug mode which is something i would like to highlight because this allows testing your app testing your agent without killing your uh full tokens limit because that allows and on debug mode you can set up debug mode true to have it running on mock data when you're developing it to debug it so you don't go broke using tons of tokens while getting the agent to work i read into some bugs which i guess is not really surprising and debugging an agent is a whole different beast and so i'm going to take a leap into looking at langsmith very soon but i wanted to play a little bit with cursor and see how I can actually uh, figure out what's what's wrong here. Um, so let me show you uh, what has been helpful to me. And obviously, like always, all of this is going to be publicly available on GitHub. This weekend, I'm going to publish this. So uh, if you want to see more, then the next video is going to come out with the full explanation and the code for this analyst agent. And so, so basically what happened is that um, we kept getting the parameters missing. So basically, um, I had to figure out where this gets uh, screwed. And so there's tools and those tools take some parameters. If I want to get um, a market size, I need to know which market, right? That might be passed to the tool. The agent calls a specific tool with parameters that are required. And if those are not there, then um, the, what comes back to the tool chain would be missing parameters. And so I had to figure out, you know, whether the system pro makes sense and, and what's happening with the tools and ended up creating tool wrappers. So uh, let me just show you, but basically if we go all the way here, we have the prompt. I'm going to put all of this on GitHub. I have the mock LLM for the debug mode, uh, which is pretty cool. But basically looking at this, you can see that those wrappers um, will be easier to see this way where there's like the run tool, right? That calls um, this specific tool, right? So created those wrappers. That was uh, super helpful. In just keeping things organized. You can see here like the parameters that are being passed. And so I had this uh, as a helpful way to look at it. I worked with a little bit more for like a hard coded parts of the prompt so i researched mobile gaming as like what i asked the agent to do but i think what's also interesting here is that ended up with those with this like dual approach where i had this file that doing direct tool access so just calls like tool after tool after tool and not as an agent 
calling each one of the tools based on how the agent can think which tool is needed when, but rather like the tool calling is hard coded. And then I could have compared, basically I was able to compare the two approaches, which was handy. So like just to show you what it what it might look like, hopefully you can see uh, here in the, in the direct market analyzer, right? Basically we are calling the tool that is creating or in charge of the market segment. And so we're calling the analyzer, like we're, it's not really some wisdom on what is being called when, and that's gonna be actually in production. It's not gonna work this way. This is just a debugging way to, to go about it. So basically I work with Cursor on ruling out, you know, a process of elimination and figure out where's the bug. We started with the env variables here. Uh, and so there was, uh, I, I quickly created a script to just make sure no problem with the end variables. Uh, this is just, I think, pretty good practice. So that's gonna be in the repo there as well. Easy peasy, then Cursor realized, I'm sorry, but the, it seems to, the input is incomplete, which means the parameters are missing. So that obviously was not the issue. And then I created this direct test thing where there was like the direct call for the tools that was working. Um, so we were able to call OpenAI API. So all good on that front, fixed chain test. So this is how we tested it, no problem there. I would say though, one of the things, regardless of how the, the chain is being called, the cursor is hallucinating or doing things you wouldn't want it to do. So you really need to keep an eye. And here it, when I went over the suggestions, it hard coded like in the prompt, always researching mobile gaming, uh, as you can see here. Um, and you need to basically politely or not so much. So, uh, let you know that that's not the way to go. And so, uh, after ruling out issues with the N variables, the, the, the key, the API keys or the system prompt, we realized that this is actually the missing, uh, variables issue. Like the tools are not getting the variables it might be expecting to logging is quite in your face. So then you get the famous, I see the issue <laughs> by, uh, by cursor. Right. So you're, you're good with debugging. And then I ended up creating this, uh, wrapper, uh, with the help of cursor, obviously to make sure that the parameters are being passed and it's also useful when you describe, which is something I didn't think about. You describe uh, what the kind of parameters or the kind of questions that the tool might get through uh, the prompt, as you can see here. And so um, all in all, we've got, you know, sort of like this debugging journey where uh, the CLI calls the agent, but I also have the direct tool access that is just calling the tools. And so in when I want to debug something, I can use it and see that each one of those tools actually work regardless of the agent, regardless of the brain, right? Like these are like the legs and, and the hands perhaps. And I can also later on like go one level up and debug the agent itself if I wanted to. Uh, and then eventually got everything to work, uh, which is nice. And so basically if we were to, to put it here, maybe then you would see that question is being asked in this case, like, do research about fintech. Obviously, uh, this is, I'm just being lazy here, but we can ask something a, a lot more specific um, about fintech, obviously. So there's an invocation of the tools and basically all the tools are being called successfully with an output. The next steps are to generate the report out of it, maybe a slide deck, and also to add LLM as a judge. So I think where really the core is or, or the magic happens is where the last step is that the LLM would evaluate the response uh, based on the format that we would expect the management consultant to uh, come up with. And if that's interesting to you, that's the next video coming up.